Let's start altering our script from importing evidently. I just copied needed instructions from Jupyter Notebook. So we're gonna need report, column mapping and our three metrics. So now let's alter dummy metrics table. So instead of just values, we are going to have those metrics. That's correct. So our preparation function shouldn't be changed because it's all correct. But the way how we calculate metrics should be changed. In order to calculate some metrics, you're going to need to have our uh, reference data. We're going to need to build our report. And we also need to have our prediction model. Because in order to calculate prediction drift, we first need to have some predictions. So let's add the following instructions. So first of all, let us load reference data and model. Now let's load model. Yes, we're gonna need to import job clip. Here it is. What else? In order to simulate production usage of our batch service, we're gonna read our data day by day. For doing this, we need to first load the whole data and then in main, in cycle, we're gonna split data by days and read it. So let's first of all read our whole data set. I will call it raw data. So just uh, to remind you, we are doing it for the demonstration purpose. Generally, I suppose you have some pipeline manager where your pipeline service is operating. So you can just implement those scripts uh, is this type of your pipeline. But now uh, in order to concentrate on the monitoring part itself, we're just going to use the simplest way to access the data and simulate daily usage. So this is why we read the data as a whole and each 10 seconds simulate that the whole day has passed and we can calculate daily metrics. Back to our raw data. So now let's create some daytime objects in order to know from where to start. I would start from the 1st February, so it's the second month of our data. At this moment we loaded all we needed and created all global variables we're gonna share. So now let's alter our calculation metrics PostgreSQL script. So let's rename it. It's not more calculate dummy metrics, so now it's metrics. And now let's uh, create some reports and derive needed values. In order to access particular metrics, we need to generate report. So let's go back to our Jupyter and reuse code we created before to implement a report. So this is column mapping. I will just create a couple of more variables right there in order to make things fast. So again, report. Here it is. So let us take a look to what we just write. We added one more parameter to our calculate metrics PostgreSQL function, which is i. So basically that's the number of day uh, which we use to calculate metrics. It will be much more clear later. So just this i refers to the number of day in a month because I'm going to calculate uh, the values for one month day by day. So here we need to create current data set on the fly. And for doing that, we just create our raw data, which is the whole uh, data set for the February. And we take the data which is start from the beginning date time, which is the beginning of February plus uh, I, which stands for number of day and less than the beginning date plus uh, I plus one. So it's the next date. Basically, that's how we selected I day. Now what we do is we fill an A values with zero and we do it in place so that later we could apply model to our data and write predictions to the prediction column. So now we prepared our current data. So we have everything to run the report. 
We specified report right here, so it's global variable. We can access it through the Python function here. So we pass the reference data, which is also loaded from here. Our current data, we just created it, and finally our column mapping. So now we transform our um, report, so let's write it correctly, to dict, and now we can go back to Jupyter Notebook and reuse all those code we created to derive needed variables. So let's do that. I will start from drift, or I can just basically do all one by one. Let me just maybe first copy it and then create variables. So first is prediction drift. Then drifted columns. And finally, a share of missing values. So now let's alter our insert instruction so that we insert correct values. Instead of values 1, 2, 3, we use our matrix. And let us keep the initial date time. Basically, that's it. And all we need to do is to alter our main to make sure we use the correct functions. It looks like the only thing I need to do here is to change my range. And again, it's not necessary, but I want to build my example only for February. So I will alter it to 27, then account for new name of my function. So I just delete dummy from here. And it looks like that's it. So let's save it and do a little bit of debugging. Let's move back to our terminal. So let me run our Docker container again. So now let's try to load some data using our new script instead of the dummy one. And probably we're going to need to do some debugging as well. Okay, so let's use correct file names. We're going to need to define a couple of more variables, but that's not a problem. That's what's going to happen if you will copy too much code from your Jupyter notebooks. We forgot to add the parameter here. Hopefully this one, this one is last. Okay, so now we see that our data start to be sent to our database. Let's take a look to our table. Need to log in again. Okay. Now we can see that we have new table with the prediction drift, numerical number of drifted columns and share of missing values, which is quite well. So, okay, let's quickly go back to our terminal and stop data sending. Before we proceed, I want to quickly draw your attention to the fact that such scripts can be easily transformed to prefect pipelines. I believe you already know how to use prefect pipelines, but let me quickly show you the way how you can rewrite your script in, in order to get the correct pipeline. But I will just use a couple of decorators in order to transform my Python functions into tasks and my may into a flow so it looks more like a pipeline but of course i suggested to be more creative here i mean add more tasks like loading data because we have pretty nice code in our jupyter notebook to load data from the internet so build a model and create all this as the perfect pipeline so let me import prefect or more from prefect import task and flow. So I'm going to use decorator task here. So my task. One more task right here and, and the flow here. So but in this case I would I don't really like to call flow main so maybe So 
So let's call it batch monitoring backfill. So that's it. Now let's rerun the script and see how it looks like. So now we see that we have our prefix up and running. And if you're interested, you could go to some visual interface, uh, I mean UI of prefix, and see the dependencies and tasks running. And we are going back to our uh, database and Grafana. Let's access our Grafana. And check whether we can access those data from here. So I'll create new dashboard, add new panel, substitute data source to PostgreSQL, and plot prediction drift. Surprisingly, there is no data here, but that's because this time we decided to use the initial timestamps instead of the current ones. So if I go here and substitute the period for the last two years, here is my data. So basically that's not how it should be looking like in the real monitoring dashboard, but if you use some historical data, that's what you will have. So that's how my uh, prediction drift looks like. So I can alter title of my panel. Here it is. Hit apply button. And that's how I can start building my new dashboard. So let me add two more panels here because we have three metrics. My second one is, let me see, number of drifted columns. Looks pretty stable. So let me change the color here, for example, to yellow one. And let me add the title, drifted columns. Okay. And I prefer to do it like this. And for example, one more panel to place uh, here. Okay, let it be missing values. Very interesting. Okay, so that's the draft of the dashboard. Of course, I suggest you to be more creative here, explore more metrics. Maybe you can use something more from Evidently or calculate your own metrics and then create pretty nice dashboard in Grafana. In Grafana, you can create not only time series um, based plots, I mean value in time, but also some histograms, panels, counters, matrices, and many more. So let us stop here. We can see that we just built pretty nice dashboard and the next video we are going to discuss pretty interesting question. How to save our dashboard and make sure we can load the same dashboard every time we rerun our docker container, but if we of course do not rebuild it.